hello. This is Shay. Welcome to this week's WIP and Chat. Uh, WIP, if you are new, stands for Work in Progress and Chat. Uh, we're just going to hang out for about an hour or so. Um, so yeah, go ahead and pull out um, a diamond painting if you haven't already. If you want to diamond paint alongside me, that's what I'm going to work on. And uh, or any other thing you want to do, use me as you wish. Like I always tell you guys, you can treat this like as a like a podcast. You can just listen if you want to go f take your dogs for a walk or do errands. Or uh, but make sure you let me know down below in the comments what did you do during this time that we hung out. I'd love to know what you were doing while we were hanging out and chatting. Um, and also let me know how are you. Um, seriously, I really heartfelt mean it. I really look forward to these um, every week. I feel so bad that I missed last week's, so I do apologize for not doing one um, last week. I try to put these out weekly, try to get them out every Thursday, so that way you guys, we can kind of keep up with each other. So uh, yeah, so I'll update you on what's been going on with me the last couple of weeks, and uh, just be sure and let me know how you are, okay? I want to know how you guys are, what you've been up to, what's going on in your life. Um, let me know all the things. And uh, just do that down in the comments. And you're always welcome to also private message me on uh, Instagram. It's you'll find it in here somewhere down in the description, um, email, any of those things. Facebook. Yes. So welcome. Welcome, you guys. Um, if you've been back to see me again, welcome back. Um, this is a new painting for you. This is the first time you've probably seen this one. And if you are new to my channel, and this is your first time joining. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome and thank you for you know clicking on the video and joining us today and I hope you um, come back you know I'd love to to spread the diamond painting uh, friendship love all over the internet so <laughs> yes yeah, so join me um, let's see I actually now that I say that I actually just got a little bit of a bump in subscribers um, so I might have some new folks here maybe I just did a video uh, showing the Diamond Art Club uh, 2025 calendar that I found at Hobby Lobby. And my subscriber count bumped up a little bit more than it usually does faster. So um, if you are new, like I said, welcome. Uh, again, my name is Shay. Pretty self-explanatory, Crafting with Shay. But um, I do have, uh, I live in Dallas, Texas. I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids. I'm going to turn 50 this month. Uh, I am married. And I have three dogs. So that's a little bit about me. Um, looks at my kids. I've got two boys, a girl. The kids' ages are from top to bottom. We've got 19, uh, 18, and 12. So, yeah. And I've been diamond painting for about four-ish years. Had the channel for three-ish. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's talk about what I'm going to be working on today and what y'all are going to be looking at, okay, in all my accessories. So, again, this is a new one. Um, so, this is special. And let me just start off by talking about this painting and you might recognize it and you might know who, what the company is. Um, I miss them dearly. I miss them horribly, um, craftably. This is, uh, unfortunately, if you are new to diamond painting, um, you may not know, craftably um, was a diamond painting company and they no longer exist. They had to shut their doors, which I even hate to talk about um, because they were uh, friends of mine. I would go and help them on the weekends and we became very close. And uh, we still see each other. It's not that just because they had to shut down um, that we're still not friends. I just don't see them on a regular basis like I used to. And we're not playing with diamond paintings. It was just so much fun. And they just, they're the best people. So I just hope one day maybe they'll come back with something else. And, you know, who knows? I mean, I can only hope. But <clears throat> this is a craftably, <clears throat> excuse me, which, by the way, let me clear my throat. Sorry, that's a, from an old song. Grab something to drink. I didn't even tell y'all. Uh, the stats of where we're at for me, at least it is, I'll just show you my watch. It is Thursday, uh, September 12th and, uh, yeah, it's 1031. So it's Thursday for me, Thursday for you. If you're watching this the day that it comes out, I normally try to do these on Wednesdays, but it just didn't happen this week. So yes, but yeah, grab some coffee. Cause like I said, it is 1030 for me. So it's still coffee time. Um, I've also got some water here, so you, know, you got to hydrate. So Again, this is from Craftably. It is very, very special because, like I said, they're no longer with us. As, they're not dead, y'all. <laughs> the company is gone, unfortunately. So, but I, um, like I said, I became friends with them. We are friends, and uh, I miss them. So, I was saving this painting. Here is the sticker. I just put it on um, a back of a card just to be able to show y'all. Um, it's a Sheena Pike. 
So, of course, it is licensed artwork. That's all that Craftably would sell. It's called Halloween Hannah. And I've had this for a while, and I knew that I was going to be doing it for uh, the season. So I'm doing it for Drills and Chills, which is a diamond painting event. And also for um, another event that Enablers Outpost is hosting, Elizabeth Inslee. It's called a Small Shop Fall Festival, and it's on Facebook. So I'll have all that information linked down below on both of those events. They are September 1st through October 31st, so you've got two months. Um, the Small Shop one, they said Craftable would work, obviously. And it is fall themed. But isn't she adorable? Let's see. Um, they had it in inches. She's around. I don't know what that is in centimeters, but it's 24 by 18. It's a great size. Um, I have, let me back it out a little bit so y'all can see how much I've done. Yeah, you can kind of just see. I do start on the bottom left. So here we go. I did the first row. I love it. See, oh, it's not that big. That's it. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm now here on the second row. So if you want to look up and take a look at this. I have added some enhancements. It did come with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five ABs already, plus one, two, three crystals. So it's got a lot of stuff already in it, but I thought, you know what? Let's just add a little bit more. So I just looked in my stash and I just looked at the DMC to DMC and I just wanted to see if I had anything. So like it calls for 209 and uh, which is that really cool purple. So I found 209 AB. So I've been adding that. And you can see right here in the pumpkin, um, what did I use for the pumpkin? I want to say that's uh, 3371, which is supposed to be just a brown. So I wasn't sure about it. I was like, mm, this could be risky, but you know what? I think it's pretty cool. It's like he's glowing. So it kind of like a blinged out pumpkin. And then it kind of added some fun stuff right here, but I love this painting. I absolutely, absolutely love Sheena Pike's artwork. Um, you know, just because crafting, you know, Sheena Pike actually is, uh, licensed with other diamond painting companies. So definitely go check her out. Um, I did, was able to do a few years ago, I did a Sheena Pike along with another creator and we had a really good time. But, um, but yeah, I love her artwork. I've done many of her pieces and I know a lot of y'all probably have too. So um, yeah, I've been saving this, saving it, saving it for this. Um, I will tell you when I was kidding this up, it kind of hit me that Craftably was gone um, when I was kidding this up. I, I didn't really address it when they closed their shop. I ordered a couple more paintings right at the end and I never did an unboxing of my last one that I received from them. I just did a giveaway because I just thought it'd be too, too much and just, I didn't want it to be like the last one. So I gave that away, but um, yeah, I just, I knew I wanted to hold on to this one and have, but when I was kidding this up, that's what I was, I was kidding this up. And a couple of them, when I was trying to pour them um, into my storage containers, couple of them spilled and I was frantically searching on the floor for every little piece. It's almost like it's a piece of them. And I don't know because I got normally if a drill falls or a few drill falls, I don't care. I'm like, you know, no big deal. And I know they give you extra. So it wasn't that it was like, I think I was just dealing with the fact that they're, I don't know. I know it, it might seem a lot because we were friends and, and I just saw so many, so much work that was put into their company and the blood, sweat, and tears that they put into it and how much they cared. And I cared just as equally, obviously not as much, you know, that it was their company, but I loved them and I love what they were doing. They cared about the community they did. So yeah, so anyways, this is very, very special, okay? I like, if you look down here, she's got like a brooch or maybe part of her dress. It's got like a cat in there, a little black cat, but I love all the purple. So yeah, so that is my diamond painting. And like I said, I'll, you know, we'll see how long it takes me to do it. And you can see here, I've got it sectioned off. I don't use release papers normally, I used to, but then I started sectioning off with uh, washi tape, you know, to, to know what's, you know, tiny. And what, what that does is, if you're new, it just kind of gives you an area to focus on. And then once I'm done with this, I cut it off and I cut the next one back. So um, it was funny, I was kidding this up when I was talking to my friend Ditsy. And uh, normally, well, every time I've ever used washi tape, I use, normally the same roll, like one color, and I do the border, and then I do the, the squares. Well, I had three picked out that I loved, and I'm like, I just don't know. I've been wanting to use all these three, and she goes, use all of them, and I was like, what? So she gave me the, she said I could do it, and it's okay, there's no rules, right? So I did it, and I'm so happy that I did. Let me zoom you guys in if you wanna take a look. I've got, uh, so again, this is the, the kind of the, the thinner, simply gilded washi tape they have. I don't remember the size, uh, but I've got the black, background with the purple bats, okay, going this way. And then 
I've got the purple background with the black bats going the other way. I mean, I was getting crazy here, y'all. And I also do the border. And I absolutely loved this orange background with these black little skulls because there's lots of orange in here. So that's why I was struggling. I was like, the orange, purple. She's like, do it all. So thank you for giving me permission to have fun with it and not be so like, you know, stuck in a rut and doing the things that, you know, I've always done. It's like, you can switch it up a little bit. So yeah. Okay. I think I'm zoomed in enough. Hopefully not too much if y'all like to watch. Um, all right. So what else? So that's my washi tape. So let's talk about the other accessories I'm using. I've got some new ones today, some fun stuff. Uh, let's talk about my tray. So this is, I decided to go with the green because there is a really fun lime green pop like in her hair. Um, this was actually a, this is from Firefly, okay? And of course I'll have all these folks listed down below. It's a Firefly tray. And I actually received this in my swag bag at a retreat that I went to, the Great Lakes Escape Retreat in Ohio. And yeah, and Firefly is known for having their little like, you know, little door that opens and closes. And I love their trays and I thought the green, and you know, I thought it was a good size too. I don't like the real big trays. So, so I've got that from Firefly. Okay. Again, that was like a, something I got. And then check this out. I've got my trinket tray with some fun pens, tweezers, and my ceramic cutter. So I was so excited when I saw this. Uh, I got this as, um, it came in a, a mystery box. This is from Enablers Outpost. And it is a resin trinket tray. And it says fickled beetles to increase sneakiness. And it's got the green in there and it's got the purple. And it was a Halloween mystery box that I got. I think it was last year. Yeah. So I thought, oh my gosh, the purple, the green, I'm like the glitter around the edges. Perfect. So that's holding my accessories. And speaking of an enablers outpost, these are two of their pens that I've had. Now this one actually came in my mystery box along with this tray. It's purple with black bats. You'll see the bats in there and the glitter. So I was like, okay, we gotta be on theme here and we're definitely on theme. So I love Enablers Outpost pens. They're just, they're beautiful and they're great people too. So I'll have all their information. They have a YouTube channel too. So I'll have them, them linked down below and they also do diamond paintings. Um, but I also just have the brass tip in my single placer and I'll show you guys what I use in my tips in just a second and what I'm using here. I got some putty but I just use the white plastic um, multi-placers. I do like a seven placer. So yes, that's my pearl. I mean, it was just so on theme with the washi tape. I don't know if there's any bats in the painting, but who cares, right? Okay, I have an, another Enablers Outpost pen. I actually bought this um, just randomly last year going, you know what? This would go really good with a Halloween. It just looked like a Halloween pen to me. And sure enough, it fits with this painting. It's got the lime green, the white. I love how they turn it. And yeah, and it's got this really pretty, it's, it's kind of more of a fuchsia, like a purple. It's kind of showing up a little bit darker on camera. And again, I got some, let me tell y'all what I'm using. Now, this also came in that mystery box from Enablers Outpost. I mean, they had the, their mystery boxes are so fun. I'm not sure if Elizabeth made these things. I think she might've, but again, this is like a resin coffin with all the glitter. And again, all the colors match. So I decided to have this next to me to store my glue dots, my micro glue dots, and my putty that I'm using. So I just kind of have my little coffin here. I love to get all themey, y'all. Can you tell? So in here, I've got my micro, my micro glue dots. They're just a tiny, tiny little baby. See them there? I've had this roll forever. They last forever. And I do put those in my single placer. And I don't know if I've had some people ask how to do it. You just, I just use tweezers. I use my tweezers to pull out old ones turn them around, stuff them back in there, and you got like fresh sticky. And then when that wears out, it's time to replace them. And I just pick off a few off of this with my tweezers, stuff them in there. And I normally do about two and a half to three and just kind of dirty it up on my shirt a little bit or my, you know, my pants, because I do want to steal your, your, your drills, kind of dirty it up and then you're good to go. So that's that. And then, but let's talk about my putty. I was like, yes, this is from Putty Crocker. Okay, I'll have her link down below. Um, this is Beetle Stripes, and I thought, Beetle Stripes too. And I thought, okay, with Beetle Juice just coming out, again, I've had this for a while. It smells amazing, and it's just so on theme. Check this out, you guys. Oh, <laughs> look at this putty. Her putty is amazing. Look at the glitter. I wasn't sure if the glitter was gonna be an issue, but you can tell I've used it twice, only twice, and I'm still going, and I've done this already. So this will last a long time. It's amazing and it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Let me see what it smells like. 
Mm, hard to say, but it's real subtle, but it's good. So yes, this is Putty Crocker. And it's got the Beetlejuice, which by the way, I really wanna see um, the new Beetlejuice movie that just came out. Let me know y'all if you've seen it. We have not seen it yet. It just came out this the past weekend. So yeah, so I like the, yeah, so what I do, I just kind of folded it so it would fit in the coffin. And yeah, so I'm, I like to keep all my little things next to me. Typically, um, what I normally use, oh, I'm not putting that in there very good. Um, normally what I use next to me, it's always next to me, it's still next to me. I normally use my little um, tin here that I got from my friend Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter. And it normally holds my micro glue dots and my putty, whatever I'm using. So, and then, you know, sometimes I use the pink wax for like special drills, so I always keep that next to me. But yes, our coffin is gonna go, our little babies are gonna go back to sleep in their coffin. So I've got this next to me, okay. And what else? So that's the pins. Oh, I've got tweezers. This was, uh, these were, I got two of them. They were a gift from uh, Paul. He is Ditsy Diamond Den's husband. Dear Helper is also what he goes by on YouTube. He only diamond paints with tweezers. So he got me my own personalized tweezers because my other ones were bent and janky and yeah, he just couldn't take it. So that, thank you, Paul. They're very, very sharp. I love them. And of course, these are, tweezers are great to like pull back my next piece of plastic. If there's a dog hair on there, a crumb, uh, picking out wine, uh, flies out of my wine, all those things. They're great. Tweezers really come in handy. And then of course I've got my ceramic cutter, just a little, little blade to cut back my sections. Okay. Yes. And we're in business. Oh, and last but not least, my storage containers. Elizabeth Ward. There's a lot of colors in this baby. 60 colors. 60, 60, 60. And then what I do is um, I keep my extra drills normally like over here on the side. But I put, oh, I'm going to be using 3608. That's going to be pretty. So yeah, I normally just kind of keep them. I was going to tell you all what I'm doing with my 5200. Um, I'm doing something kind of fun with it. So what I did was it's not an AB. It was just straight 5200. Okay. And you can tell it's all, if you want to look up for a second, you let me see if you can get the, see if it shows up. I don't know if it's going to show maybe. Yeah, it's going to show. This is all that 5200, basically all the background. Can you see there's some AB sprinkled in there randomly? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. What I did was I poured out all the 5200s, just the regular ones, and I mixed in some 5200 ABs and then shaky, 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 shaky. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. I just, they're just gonna be sprinkled throughout here because I didn't have enough 5200 to do the entire background ABs. Plus I wasn't sure if that would look good. It probably would have, but I didn't have enough. I just had this one bag. So I've just been, you know, sprinkling it, sprinkling it, shake, shake, shake. So yeah. And there's a lot of 5200. I still have two more bags that, yeah. So there's a lot. Again, I didn't have that many ABs. So I thought, let's just have some fun with it. And again, you know, there's no rules. You can diamond paint how you want. So if you want to take that idea and, you know, change things up, do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right. And last but not least, my cute little cover minder. This cute little pumpkin. I don't know where I got it. No clue. But these hold back your plastic. And of course, there's another magnet underneath my diamond painting. And there you go. And it's like, it, yeah, it's on there. So, oh my gosh, y'all. We're 18 minutes in and all I did was do an intro, basically. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have so much to talk about because we got two weeks worth. But um, sorry, I went on a little long with all the things. I was just excited. This is uh first time y'all are seeing all these things. So yeah. And I'd like to give a shout out to small shops, you know, Elizabeth Ensley and Enablers Outpost and her and her husband are just amazing. Edward. I mean, they're just the nicest people. So she has the penscriptions, which I really want to get into. And yeah. All right. So I do have this color out. So let me start diamond painting you guys. I'm actually standing. I think I'm going to sit down now. I just wanted to make sure y'all were zoomed in enough. That should be good. Okay. And I can hear him snoring, so I'll go ahead and give a little small disclaimer if you are new. Um, I have three dogs, like I mentioned, and two of them are in here. I have two Boston Terriers and a French Bulldog. My little Frenchie is a loud snorer. That's Ollie, and he's always attached to me, and he's sleeping. He's sleeping in my craft room, but he's by the door. Now, normally he's right below my table, so I can hear him, but I don't think you guys can hear the snoring. But in some of my videos, you will hear him snore or burp or fart or... Yeah, but right now they're both sacked out and Jasper is sleeping in his dog bed. He's really quiet. All right, 
I gotta show y'all one more thing. You're probably like, oh my gosh, lady, stop having me look up. My daughter Lou, who just turned 12, made this for me last night. If you wanna look up, it's the cutest little thing. It's like a little monster, right, with like teeth. Um, it's a bookmark, yeah. So I actually told her, I said, you know what I could do? Cause I didn't have a cover minder last night. So I took that off and I was like, oh, cause my plastic was kind of flapping a little bit cause I had my fan on. So I said, I can actually put my little monster cause he has a little bit of weight to him and he can hold down my plastic. But yeah, and she put a little, she said this, is, I said, oh, it's got a little hat like mom wears. She goes, no, that's a crown. I'm like, oh, but yeah, she actually cut out the little, uh, she's like a hole puncher, I guess. And she actually glued the little, but yeah, who knew? I thought it was so cute. So I decided to show, it was on my desk. <laughs> so cute, all the things that they, kids do. Uh-oh, where's my magnet? I lost my magnet, y'all. What did I do? Here I was bragging about things. Are you still underneath here, magnet? Sorry, y'all, I'm just gonna take a little peek. I don't see a magnet anywhere. That's weird, oh, I feel them. Okay, yeah, sometimes they like to move. You stay right there, sir. All right, we're back in business. All right, let's actually start diamond painting, shall we? Can y'all tell I missed you? Yeah, just, just a tiny bit. I hope you missed me too, because I did miss you guys. All right, let's get to painting. I got my letter there. Oh, y'all are gonna be like, Shay, stop. Just stop, lady. So what I do is, um, one more thing I was gonna show you guys, a little tip, something, uh, the way that I do things. Um, you know, I showed you I've got special drills that I pulled out to add to enhance my painting more. Um, and I didn't put like special stickers. So what I do is I do, I got a Sharpie and I just do a little black dot. So then that way, when it's time to pull that symbol, I'm like, oh, I have an AB or a crystal or whatever. Um, see, there's that 3608 I showed you guys, that, that pink. And I'm like, ooh, when I pull that out, I go ahead and grab this and maybe use this instead of these. So uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is, yep. So I just put a little black dot. I know, I haven't really figured out another way to do it or it just seems pretty simple and easy. But oh, now Ollie's next to my desk, he moved. All right, I want to diamond paint, y'all. Sorry, I'm just in a mood. I'm talkative today, obviously, yes. All right, let's get to painting. Let me pull out my, I need, got a few Ks. I'm almost, no, I still got some stuff to do on this one. I, thought was, I just finished that one last night. Um, but yeah, I have not diamond painted today. All right, so. Again, uh, it's been two weeks, so I missed you guys. And I just kind of took some quick notes before we started on kind of quickly what happened the week before. But now I know why I do these weekly because it is hard to try to remember what you did, let alone this last week, but like the week before. Um, so let's see, last week there was a lot of um, stuff for Nate and that's my middle son, that's my 18 year old. He just turned 18 in August. He, uh, here in Texas, you have to, and I was telling you guys about this before, if you've been back, you'll know, uh, we were having a hard time getting him a driver's license appointment because in Texas, when so you get your license at 16 and then it's kind of like a provisional license. And then at 18, you have to get a new one, new pick. Yeah. So, and they sent us a letter in July saying we could do it online. And of course we tried, we tried and it didn't work. So trying to get an appointment was difficult. Um, I finally got one. So he was driving around with an expired license um, for about two weeks, week and a half, yeah, about two weeks. Um, so last week we did that. We also did, so, let's, so let me back up. So let's see, uh, the kids had no school Monday or Tuesday of last week because it was Labor Day, Labor Day holiday here in the US. So, and the teachers normally will tack on like a teacher and service day to make it like a four day weekend. So yeah, it was like four days of you know no school, including the weekend, so that was good. So Monday was Labor Day. Uh, Lou and I went shopping. We had like a girl's shop, shopping day, went to Sephora, Home Goods, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something, but it was, we had a, we had a good time. We just kind of went out, so went to Starbucks. Um, yeah, so we had fun. And then Tuesday, uh, that's where stuff with Nate came in. Tuesday, uh, Nate had his senior pictures done. So Nate is a senior this year. And I know I've talked about that before. We're, we're working on uh, college essays and what colleges he's going to uh, apply to. He's interested in film. So he wants to go to school for cinematography. And of course, we're gonna stay in Texas because you know Texas schools are cheaper in state tuition. Um, so yeah, since he's a senior this year, uh, you have to have your um, senior pictures done professionally at like a, 
at a place off site from school because they have to um, they have to get them in early for the yearbook and for all that stuff for like graduation. So it was so, I loved it. I did, got to do the same thing with Ryan. So I kind of knew what to expect, but it's still when you see them. So basically he comes out and uh, in a cap and gown. Yes, it was, he looks so cute. Um, and he comes out with his, uh, with a, it's a tuxedo picture, but obviously it's like a half shirt. It's like a little dicky, you know, they just like slide their arms in and boom. And they put a little bow tie on him. But, uh, oh, he just looks so handsome. So yeah, he, uh, he looks really cute. He got his, uh, when we did the cap and gown one, he put his, first they do one just with his gown. And then, um, you know, they, they do a bunch of schools. So they kind of pick your school colors. And then they also had him holding, uh, a diploma, like the cover of the diploma that had his school name on it. It's just crazy. It's like, you're seeing the future, you know? And yeah, it, and he looks so cute. So they did one with just his gown and then it was time to put the cap on. And he was like, oh gosh. And he's, he's got curly hair like I do. And his little curl, one curl was kind of like sticking out and kind of like coming around at the cat, the hat. It was so cute. And he's got such a good smile. So I was like, oh, so he just, so I was glad we got that done. Check that off our list. Right. Um, and then let's see. So that was Tuesday. Uh, Thursday is when we did his driver's license appointment. So what was tricky about that was uh, you can't really be picky on location, your time. You're just lucky you get a spot. So um, it was, his appointment was like at 7.55 in the morning, actually 7.56, which is such a random appointment time, 7.56. And uh, it was about 35, 40 minutes away. And then with rush, rush hour traffic, we were like, oh gosh. And my husband is out of town during the week for work. And so he wasn't gonna be here and I needed to get Lou to school. So I actually had Lou spend the night at a friend's house the night before. So that was really appreciated. And she just went to school with her friend. So Nate and I got up. Um, I had all the documentation ready to go. I mean, I had more than what we even needed. I had um, his passport, his birth certificate, his social security card, uh, the insurance for his truck. I mean, just like, just to, I filled out the application already online. I printed that out, filled it out. I was like, okay, we got it all. His old license. I mean, we just tried to think of everything they would need. And I know that um, from doing this before with Ryan, kind of know how to play the game. And you can, they send you a, a link to log in 30 minutes before your appointment to do a check-in to get your, your number that they're gonna call. So as we were, so I had an alarm set, as we were driving there to go off exactly 30 minutes before his appointment, that alarm went off, Nate got on my phone and checked in and it gave us a number. And I was like, okay, okay, now we just have to hope that they don't call the number before we get there. But they do say that they'll, uh, your appointment, you've, you're good until like 30 minutes past your appointment. And then you have to reschedule. And I was like, oh gosh. So we were really just, you know, trying to make it all work. And it worked out perfectly. We hit a little bit of traffic early on when we were starting to drive and I was getting scared. And then once we got closer, it was like smooth sailing. We walk in and the lady asked if we have an appointment. We said, yes, she goes, okay, go around the line. Cause some people were just trying to get in without appointments. And uh, so we got in, we, we looked at the screen to see what number they were on. And they were like at A19 and we had A21. I was like, oh gosh. So we did good y'all. I was like, I was proud of us. Um, we only had to sit there for like 10 minutes and uh, we got a really nice guy and he was super helpful and he just, you know, made the experience, you know, great. And so Nate had to do like a new picture and a, a new vision test. And then we paid our $35 and got out of there. So a little bit of traffic getting back. Um, and unfortunately, Nate did miss a little bit of school. He missed first period, but then he went to second period and he went the rest of the day. So, so it was like two big kind of, you know, things just on my to-do list of trying to get him, you know, set up with what he needed to get done that I was able to check off the list. So last week was kind of like Nate week, you know? And then uh, let's see, Friday, I had a dentist appointment. And that was just like a cleaning. So um, yeah, no cavities, so it all went good. Uh, I'm really I'm really fortunate. I get uh, cleanings every four months. Our insurance covers every four months instead of just six months. So um, it really has helped my teeth. And that's what she said too, that you know, just those regular cleanings and doing the fluoride and all that. So yeah, so did the dentist. And then let's see, then Saturday, um, Saturday was fun. Saturday, I decided to go out um, and do some returns because it was a beautiful day out and Lou was at a friend's house. 
And I was like, you know what? And hubby was kind of doing some things around the house. I think I'm just going to go out for and do some returns because these are things I've been putting off. Well, I ended up only doing one return and I ended up going to like three or four, maybe three Hobby Lobbies. <laughs> and if y'all saw the video I was referring to, um, the one I just put out yesterday, I think, maybe the day before, it was the, uh, the Diamond Art Club 2025 calendar, which if you haven't seen that, I'll have it linked down below if you want to go check it out. But um, yeah, I was able to stumble upon a calendar. Yep. And so I grabbed two. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one of them. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe, please do. And uh, ring that bell so you'll be notified. And I can, you know, I have, I'll, I'll let y'all know as it gets a little closer. Um, yep. So I'm going to give some people some time to, to get in there. And I'll let you know how we're going to do the giveaway. But we, uh, yeah, so we, I went to like, I don't know, I had so much fun. And I took my Patreons and my members with me and did some vlogging going in and out of the stores. So they got to see some things too. And so, yeah, if you want to join any any one of those things, uh, it's the same content on both. I just offer it um, on two different platforms, depending on what's easier. Some people, it's just easier to join memberships directly through YouTube. You just click join. It's really easy. Uh, Patreon, you have to click on the link, but that's really the only difference. But um, yeah, I put weekly vlogs up for all the tiers and uh, I take you with me and you get to see what I'm up to during the week. So <laughs> you get to see the behind the scenes content, y'all, good or bad. Me without makeup most times, but yeah. So just a day in the life and it's a wonderful way to support, you know, the channels of your favorite creators because to be honest, I mean, YouTube, you know, they do take a huge, a huge cut of our videos if there's any revenue from, from, you know, ads, they do, which they should, it's their platform, I get it. But, um, you know, in order, like for instance, when I did that Hobby Lobby trip, I was able to get a lot of cool things to show you guys. I haven't showed everything yet, but it's coming. And uh, I was able to purchase that stuff with the money that y'all give me for supporting our channels, you know, for doing Patreon and, and membership. So it's it's so much, it's really, really appreciated. It, you know, gives us a chance to purchase more and to show you guys things. So, all right, so I'm not gonna be plugging that anymore. Um, so then, uh, let's see. So Saturday I did that and it was super fun. Uh, Sunday, I did my live. And if you were there, you saw I was outside in my backyard and there was a reason why. Um, Saturday night, well, back at, back to Saturday, um, I did. Uh, I was in my craft room, dime painting, and all of a sudden I heard a sizzle, like a crackling sound and a sizzle coming from the wall. And I was like, oh no, that does not sound good. So I, ran, I was super scared. I ran over there and unplugged my uh, power from there, right? I had like a, the power adapters that you plug a couple things into. And I was gonna show you guys what my husband found. Uh, so anyways, that happened. I told him there was a sizzle and he's like, okay, let's, let's not use that wall anymore. So then I kept, but, but my craft room lights were still working. The, the lights on in the room on the ceiling. And so I kept, and later that night, everything went down and it was pitch dark. And I was like, okay. And that's when he's like, you know what? Let's turn everything off. You know, let's just try to, so we were going to call an electrician. So Sunday I thought, okay, I thought I was gonna have to cancel my live. But I was like, oh, I'll just do it outside. Now, and I know a lot of y'all, I asked the same question during the live. If you've been with me for a while, I used to do, before I had my craft room, I, when it was nice out, I used to do uh, a lot of my lives uh, out in the backyard. We have like a little fireplace out there and it's, you know, really nice. So when it hits like fall time, I have like a fire going. So I definitely will do it again. It was really nice. It was almost like God's way of like, get outside, enjoy the weather. So I did not cancel. I just did it outside and it, it was great. We had a good time. We had a really good time. Um, speaking of that, that just reminded me, which I didn't even take a note about. I'm so glad I just remembered that talking about Sunday. I was supposed to talk about something on Sunday during my live, but I forgot. So Ditsy and Paul and I, as you know, we hosted Oz and Og, the Wizard of Oz event in August. We have some un unclaimed prizes. Okay. So if I don't hear back from these folks, um, soon, uh, let's say by this Sunday, then I will be, uh, giving those things away. Okay. We're going to be just handing them out. So, uh, what I'll do is cause everything's on my phone. I have the names and the folks I need to contact me. Go ahead and look at the description and I'll have a little note in the description of who I'm still waiting to hear from. I'll put your YouTube name. And if you can reach out to me, please do. If you don't, then like I said, we'll do a little, uh, live giveaway. So definitely come Sunday and they'll do, if there's no prizes that are, if there's unleft, uh, unclaimed prizes, then we'll give those away. So I forgot to mention that Sunday. Uh, sorry, I don't have all the details. Um, like I said, I'm using my phone to film, so I don't have it handy. 
But um, but yeah, just uh, look in the description to see if you want anything. And uh, so Sunday night, I did that, right? And my, and my husband was leaving for the week, super, super early Monday morning. He was going to California for the week. He got to go to the 49ers, uh, San Francisco 49ers football game, Monday night football. So woo, football has started officially. The real season has, regular season has started. He got to go to the Monday night football game and they won. So he had a great time out there. I'm so glad they won that he got to see them win. It's always kind of a bummer when you go to a football game and you know your team doesn't win and you see him in person. So yeah, I was really happy for him. He was in a great mood. Anyway, so before he left Monday morning, he said he didn't even go to bed Sunday night. And well, he said he got done like around three, fixing my lights in my craft room, taking everything apart and figuring out what it was before he left. So I, I kept thanking him because what, what a sweetheart. I mean, that was just, cause he knew how much the craft room means to me, how much, you know, diamond painting and you guys mean to me. And he worked all night until about 3 a.m. and decided, well, I gotta get up at five. It's not even worth going to sleep now, but I was gonna show you guys what he found. He left it on my desk so I could see what had happened. So if y'all wanna look up for a second, I pulled it so I could show it to you guys. Here is the outlet that was sizzle, 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 right? Okay, so that looks pretty normal. You probably saw it when I showed you this side. Black, look at that, like charred. My husband's like, uh, that probably was gonna be a fire soon. So not good, nope, not good. So, oh, so he replaced this and called me from the airport Sunday or Monday morning uh, saying, hey, it's all fixed. And I'm like, ooh, a little, a little fairy or a little elf came in the middle of the night and uh, cause he's a night owl. He's a vampire is what I call him. I am not, I cannot stay up late. But uh, yeah, he fixed it for me. So that's why we're in here and we're back in business. So um, yay, yep. So I was just down for like, I don't know, a couple days. Well, not even, a, not even just a day, I guess. Seems like forever. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We get so spoiled, like diamond painting in our, in our little areas where we have all of our stuff. But I did make a little makeshift. Um, I put a table and chair in our bedroom and I was working on a little smaller project. So I did have that going down there too for like Sunday night because I couldn't go without diamond painting, right? Gotta keep it going. So yeah, that was, yeah. So I was so appreciative of him just fixing that. I thought it was just amazing. So, so nice. Um, let me get a drink real quick. Plus I feel like I'm talking in 90 miles a minute because I'm trying to get it all in. Hello, Mr. Jasper. I don't know if you all heard that. He's like, Phew. isn't it funny when dogs get up and they shake? And that sound that you hear, is that their thighs slapping against each other? I think it is, and I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> I would make the same sound if I, if I shook like that. Um, speaking of that, of thigh shaking, um, I was just gonna update y'all briefly, real quick on my um, health journey, if you will. I don't know what I'm calling it, but um, yeah, I've been um, closing my exercise ring every day, except for yesterday. But yes, almost every single day since I talked to y'all last. Um, I've been really proud of myself. Um, it's making me feel better. And yeah, so I've been either, and like I said, closing my ring is, I think it's like 30 minutes of exercise. I have to, I have an Apple watch. And uh, normally I walk the dogs. It's like this morning I walked the dogs. I took them for like two and a half miles. And I just take them um, individually because I've got three of them. So I just like take one a couple times around the block and then drop that one off and grab another dog. So kind of space it out, but they help me get my exercise in. So I've done that several times. And then I also have uh, the Peloton, the bike. And so uh, yesterday, I probably, or day before yesterday, I probably overdid it because I walked the dogs for two and a half miles and then I rode the bike for 30 minutes, but I can watch Netflix on there. So it's like amazing. I just watch like a 30 minute show and I don't even know I'm really riding a bike. So it doesn't even feel like really like I'm exercising, but, and I'm trying to eat better. So I don't know if I've lost any weight. I haven't really like, I don't want to get on the scale because I don't want it to dis discourage me. All I know is I'm making healthier decisions, healthier choices. So yeah. So the energy's still good. Feeling good. I don't know if it's those Pez. I don't know if it's the Pez pellets that I had put in my butt. I don't know if they just, you know, those, um, the hormone pellets. I don't know if they just took a long time to kick in uh, or it's my meds that we changed a little bit. You know, I don't know, but Whatever is working is working. So, all right, where are we at? We're at, so Monday, 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 Ollie, my little baby. So Ollie's my Frenchie. For those of you that have been here, you know Ollie is my baby. 
He's gonna be two this month, so he's just still a little baby. And uh, he had to go to the vet on Monday. I called on Friday to make the appointment and they didn't have anything that day. And of course they're closed on the weekend. So Monday morning at 9.30, we got him in. So what's going on with him is the Frenchies, this is our first Frenchie to have, but from what we've read and what we've heard, they are very prone to like skin issues, allergies, just overall health issues. Like apparently they're expensive dogs. <laughs> now I'm starting to see why. I'm like, yep, the vet bills are adding up. I need to get pet insurance. That's what I need to do. I keep talking about it, but I keep forgetting to look into it. Oh, but Ollie, so it started out like about a month or so ago, we noticed he had these like little patches on his head of like balding, almost like hair missing. And we're like, is he good? Well, him and Jasper, my other Boston, uh, one of my Bostons, they wrestle and they play really rough. And so we thought, well, well he's really snoring. I don't know if y'all can hear him. So anyways, he, um, he, yeah, so we had those little balding spots and we thought maybe it's like they're, they're fighting really rough and it's like little scabs cause him like, you know, being scratched by Jasper or bit, I don't know. So we just said, oh, we'll keep an eye on it. So then last week we noticed he had a little, um, red, a little, like a little red bump, um, next to his boy parts. Yes. And, uh, and it started looking infected and then he had a little scab like on his chest and I was like, what the heck is going on with this dude? So he just, you know, the skin was not looking great. So took him to the vet. $200, $280 later. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ollie, these dogs, period. Um, yeah, he's got a, uh, he does have allergies. And they did tell us that he is white. And normally the white Frenchies, the lighter colored Frenchies, have more skin issues than the darker ones. I'm like, oh, great. I didn't know that. So now we know. Yeah. So I guess the blonde Frenchies are, yeah. So he, uh, he's got some issues. So he's on antibiotics to get that infection under, under control. And uh, I had to order, I got on Chewy and ordered a special um, allergy shampoo for him. So we have to bathe him in that once a week and let it sit for 10 minutes. Well, he just stands in the bathtub with the, the shampoo on him. And then, um, what else? What else? Oh, she was, they were looking at him all over and she's like, Hmm, let me look at his ears too. Cause I thought his ears were fine. Oh, she said he's got an ear infection too. <sighs> so he can't get his ears wet for two weeks. Just like we went through with Jasper and he's got the stuff in his ears. They packed his ears. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a minor infection. So we can't, he can't go in the pool. And yeah, so poor little guy is just, you know, he's taken, um, I have to give it to him with food. So every night I just like drop the pill in his food dish and he just eats it with the rest of his food. So that's been super easy. I haven't had to like do a pill pocket or, you know, try to get cheese or meat or like be tricky about it. He just, he'll just eat whatever. He's like a little garbage truck. So anyways, 30 pounds, they weighed him and he's a big boy. He is a big boy. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys about this. Speaking of the vet, um, I know I told my Patreons and my members, but I don't know if I've talked to y'all since, but if you remember, um, I did apply for uh, the receptionist position at the vet. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I did not get it. Unfortunately, I did not. They got back to me and they said they had already filled the position. They already had hired someone. So I was like, okay. But y'all, I wasn't giving up. So when I was there on Monday, cause this was like the week before they told me that last week. And so when I was in there, the vet tech was kind of, you know, uh, giving me the medicine and everything. And I said, by the way, I said, do y'all, um, do y'all know if you have any openings? Like, do you need any help doing anything? I was looking for like some part-time work and I think it'd be really great to work here. I love you guys. And she's like, um, I don't know, maybe she said, I'll talk to, uh, our manager. He's actually on vacation today, but, um, when he gets back, I'll have him call you. Well, do you think he's called me? No, today's Thursday and that was Monday. I was like, and I don't want to bother these people. Obviously, you know, if they want, if it's meant to be, I guess it was meant to be and I guess it's not meant to be. I don't know. I just really think I'd like to work with animals. Maybe. I say that, but maybe I've never done it. So I don't know. But so yeah, I'm still out there looking for a job. I'm always on Indeed. Always on LinkedIn. Um, always, you know, sending my resume out for different positions in the area, either for like executive administrative positions and corporate, which I've done a lot of, or, you know, 
I was, I applied for one and they got back to me and they wanted more information. It's for a psychiatrist office. They're looking for an office administrator part-time. And uh, it's like five minutes from my house, which I was like, wow. And then it's only Monday through Thursday from 8.30 to 12.30 and you don't work Friday. So it's like 16 hours a week. So it's really not much. And it, the pay is not like huge, but I was like, it's something, you know, it's better than nothing. I really feel like it's time to do something. So I'm just trying to find, you know, what it is. So right now I still don't know what I'm doing for the job stuff, but hopefully it'll all like, you know, make sense at some point. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We will see you guys. Um, what else? Oh my gosh. I feel like I had so much to say and now I'm like, um, <laughs> so, um, I don't, let me see. Do I have anything else on my notes? What else happened? So this week, um, let's say it's Thursday. There is a college fair tonight at the high school, but Nate doesn't want to go. He's like, I already know where I want to go. I already know what I want to do. I'm like, I know, but what if we, and he keeps fighting me. I was like, oh, but Nate's still working. He's working at that cryotherapy place and he's loving it. So yep. And Ryan's doing good. He's hanging in there. Lou's doing her thing. They, uh, her and Nate missed their first day of school this week though. Yep. Which is not good because we're going to California for my dad's wedding in October and the kids are going to miss three days of school. So we really were trying to minimize the amount of school they're missing, especially this semester, but they both were feeling kind of crappy this week. And so they both stayed home on the same day and, and neither one of the other one didn't know the other one was staying home. I said, did y'all like plan this? Did you like, let's gang up on mom and like tell her that we both don't feel good and wear her out. And they were like, no, we didn't know. Cause they didn't know until that night that the other one had stayed home from school too. So, but yeah, um, it's just been busy, you know, I'm just trying to, um, you know, keep the channel going and doing videos. And Ooh, I did do, I filmed a video yesterday of a new to me shop and I wasn't sure what, I didn't know what I was, what to expect. I was, I thought it was pretty freaking cool. So that video will be coming out. So be on the lookout for that. I haven't decided, let's see today, this is going to go out Thursday, Friday, probably Saturday. I'll probably put that video out. I just need to edit it. And, uh, yeah, so be looking for that. There'll be a new video Saturday for a new to me company. And then, uh, Sunday, of course, we'll do the live. So yeah, it'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, all the things that are coming up. I was, uh, oh, and also let's talk about the Hobby Lobby stuff. I've got, um, more things to show you guys that are Diamond Art Club that I found at Hobby Lobby. I found the calendar, obviously, which I, y'all saw that video. And then um, I've got two more, well, more than two more things to show you, but I've got two more videos coming out. So be looking for those um, very, very soon. I might push, well, we'll see. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, so, or when they're coming out, but very, very soon, because I know that all the Hobby Lobbies are gonna start coming out with them. And by the way, for those of you that saw the calendar video and, you know, some people are commenting that they have gone to their Hobby Lobby and they don't have them or they don't know what you're talking about. I, I ran into the same situation. I had to go to three or four. I've been to four different Hobby Lobbies and only one of them knew what I was talking about. The other ones knew you almost have to talk to a manager. The managers will definitely know. Show them a picture of what you're looking at. Um, I know it's hard because you don't have anything because it's not on their website. Um, but what I'm curious about Let's talk about the calendar for a second. Um, some things that I've thought about, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a 2024 calendar. So to me, getting the 2025 one was exciting, no matter if there was new images or not. But the fact that Diamond Art Club only switched out three of the images, all the rest are the same. I thought, you know, if I had done a 2024, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't be buying a 2025. So I'm just... And I've got questions like, for instance, um, is the one I found, you know, a lot of people are like, why isn't it on Diamond Art Club's website? Uh, it's not even on Hobby Lobby's website. Should your store have had it out yet? Is it too early? No, um, all the stores are starting to come out with it because all the managers knew and they all said they're coming this week. So like, for instance, today, uh, one of my stores is getting their shipment today of more things. So just be patient. If you do have a Hobby Lobby and you, and maybe they don't know, but so what I'm wondering is, is Diamond Art Club going to be selling the 2025 calendar on their website? Will it be a different version with all new um, images? I know some folks over overseas also are kind of feeling some sort of way about, you know, it's just US focused, which I did notice that. I definitely noticed that. Um, yeah. 
So I don't know. I have, there's mixed reviews. It seems, I know a lot of people are excited that didn't get one like me because you know, I didn't get to do one before, but I'm really, I really wish um, that Diamond Art Club would have come out with all new images. And I don't really know what that's all about. Maybe it's only going to be sold in Hobby Lobby and they're not going to be putting it on their website. So maybe they're like, hey, it'll be new to the folks that are finding it in Hobby Lobby and they're not gonna care that you know it's not all new images. To them, they don't even know the difference. So maybe that's their customer demographic that they're looking for is just like, you know, people that don't know about diamond painting. A lot of us, we, we do hear a lot of people that don't know about diamond painting end up just stumbling upon it and finding it when they are at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or, um, so yeah, maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs. Again, I, you know, just kind of found out about them and wanted to show you guys, but they are coming. They should be coming to your stores. Just, uh, I don't know if, you know, like I said, one out of four of mine had it. So it is going to be kind of hit or miss right now, but I'm gonna be hitting up another one tonight. And also let me know you guys, if you would like something that I've shown, like if you want me to grab a calendar or a painting or this or that, whatever I do show you guys, and you're willing to pay for it, pay for shipping, like I'll, you know, and you can't get your hands on one, you can't, you know, you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you. I don't mind doing that for you guys. Now, of course I can't do hundreds. I can't be like shopping all the time and like <laughs> just constantly shipping, but I'll be happy to. So don't, you know, don't be afraid to ask me. Um, if, you know, if you really want one, I'll be happy to, you know, work with you and get one to you. So no, no problem. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I feel fortunate enough that I have so many Hobby Lobbies near me and I do live in an area where I have access to them and I'm able to find some things. So I definitely, you know, I don't want to make anybody feel, you know, left out because they don't, they don't have access to a Hobby Lobby. And plus, I don't know if, you know, again, they're not on their website yet. I don't know if Hobby Lobby is going to put them on their website Hopefully they will. I don't know. And then, you know, y'all can you know, order them online maybe. But I know I just, I kind of felt bad because I feel like I've kind of showed some people something and then like I didn't have all the questions answered, you know, because I, again, not a sneak peeker. I don't have any inside information. I just am kind of, uh, you know, just hunting them down and just wanting to share the love with you guys. Now, some people have found them. I have gotten a few messages from people saying, thank you for the video. I did see it and I did find mine. So some people are finding them. But just be patient. Um, like I said, this, I think as, you know, it gets closer in the season, closer to Halloween and stuff, you'll definitely, um, and Christmas, you'll definitely see more things out there. But yeah, but that was so exciting to be able to show you guys that. So how are we on time? I feel like I rushed through the whole thing and now at the end I'm like, but I can breathe and we can hear Ollie snoring. And I feel like there's more stuff I was gonna talk to you guys about, but oh, he's really going. So I hope I didn't rush through the video and then like have nothing at the end. <laughs> I feel like that's what I did. I just didn't want to run out. I feel like I had like a million things to talk to you guys about. Now I'm like, <sighs> I spoke too, I, I spoke too fast. And then now I'm like, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be a full hour. I don't want to just be, I don't know. I don't know if this will be, did I pause? I don't think I paused. So I think we're going to have a full hour, or like not even an hour. That's crazy. Um, but I'm just glad we got to hang out. I, uh, I'm loving this painting. So let me know, are y'all participating in the small shop fall festival and, uh, or drills and chills? Let me know. Let me know what y'all are doing. Are you doing other events? I know there's even more. I can't keep up with all the events though. I cannot keep up with it. It's a lot. So, um, yeah, so go ahead and again, you know, let me know how you guys are. Let me know what you're up to. Have you started decorating yet for Halloween or for fall? I have not, um, is it still, it's starting to cool down here, which another question, is it starting to cool down where y'all are at? Because I know it's been just scorching hot. Some places are getting heat waves. Um, so hopefully you're staying, you know, cool, but where I'm at, we were always hot and now we're finally getting a little bit of cool weather. So it's been nice to get a little bit of a break. So it's been nice to walk the dogs in the morning and uh, not sweat my butt off because especially with the dogs, walking them in the heat, would kind of scare me a little bit because you know they they have the short snouts you know they can't really be walking far in the heat it's not safe for them especially ollie so all right you guys um if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up they do help and uh also please subscribe if you haven't if you are new and you want to keep on watching what i got uh, it's free to subscribe it doesn't cost anything it just lets us know 
that uh, you like what we're doing here and that you're gonna come back. So to click, you know, subscribe and then click on that notification bell. And that way you can see the upcoming Christmas hauls that I have from my Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna be getting more. Uh, yep, I'm getting more. So definitely, you don't wanna miss any of that. And also um, just to do, hang out and do whipping chats with me and uh, you know, lives and the unboxings that I'm, I've got from other companies. So yeah, just join me and uh, I hope y'all are doing good. I love you so much and uh, I will see you guys soon, okay? All right, take care. Bye guys.